This is a quick video and uh, explain how to fix your broken Ford Sync touchscreen garbage in your car that it's broken. Uh, please, if you find anything useful in here, just uh, maybe give me a like, subscribe. Really appreciate it. So, Ford Focus 2012. We got Sync 2, the cool touchscreeny thing. Works pretty good. About five years in, this thing uh, is getting real intermittent with me. Uh, when it was cold, it just wouldn't start anymore. Occasionally when it was cold, it would start. Shut up! So many beepers. Uh, it just stopped working. Uh, we took the board out. We just get, pulled this whole thing apart. I took the board out, I rebaked it. Nothing worked. I read that these things cost $14 in Mexico to make the circuit board. The way it works is there's a module somewhere else that powers the amplifier, feeds the speakers. This thing just controls this in your nav screen stuff. So. What do you do? Ford actually extended the warranty up to six years. Mine died at six years, one month, of course, and I've read this is common, so no replacement. A new one from Ford is 800 Canadian for the thing. So what's a person to do? We're not made of money. We gotta fix this baby. What you do, there's a couple of screws underneath here that come out and this whole cluster comes off. There's some great videos on the internet how to take it out. The screen's held in by four screws. You pull it out and what do you find underneath? Well, what you find is an LCD screen attached to this thing. This is called the APIM accessory protocol bunch of junky rony. On the front is your screen. These are your screws and these are your USB connections for backup camera stuff. Blah, 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 big old connector. This is what goes wrong. This is the piece of crap made in Mexico. Actually, Mexico could make great stuff, but made by Ford Motor Company to a cost useless. We need another one of these. Now, search on eBay for APIM and you will find these things, but they're expensive. People will be like, ooh, you want 200 bucks, 300 bucks, 400 bucks, 500 bucks. What you can search for is Ford Sync Module. If you search for Ford Sync Module, you'll find this thing. And you, I basically just looked at it. I've got, this was like from a Ford Edge. I couldn't find one from a Focus, but the Edge, Fusion, they're all pretty much the same. So you look on the back. I basically just looked at a picture of this thing. It looked the same ordered it. it was like 90 bucks now we're talking 90 bucks so we put our screen on the front of this thing i plug it all in what happens well it has a bunch of information from a ford edge it tells me how to control my heated seats my or heated steering wheel i got a heated steering wheel boo 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 it worked but it only worked with the basic controls steering wheel controls didn't work sat nav didn't work much stuff didn't work so what do we do we gotta reprogram this baby now Included in the description for the video is the link to the Ford Explorer forum where the wonderful people there have compiled a guide on how to fix this thing. So now we got this baby in there. It's running. It's wrong. We got to reprogram it. Enter a wonderful program for scan. I basically believe this is an aftermarket company that makes uh, this software for Fords, but this can get us into the, into the computers and let's reprogram it. In the description is how it works. Basically, you need a Windows PC and you need a scanner. Ah, scanners! So here's your Elm 327 interface. Supports all OBD lies. These are junk. This is a ripoff of some code. These things will read codes, but they can't do CAN bus programming. I bought another one of these. It was also an eBay thing, like 10 bucks. They don't work with a schnauz boodle. This is a real one. My generous friend who's super radical engineer mechanic guy had a real one. This thing can actually program OBDs. Hilariously, Ford Scan tells you when you plug in a cheap one, Chinese clone detected, try again, sucker. So this baby, I plugged her in. We got some information. You go to the website. There's a Ford website that's listed in the, in the Ford Explorer thing. It says how to get your as-built data. As-built data is the original configuration your car comes with. So I clicked on it, put in, you know, my VIN for the Focus, lets you download the APIM as-built data. This is what we need. Now, for all the information, you go into the Forescan forums, you register. Once they approve you, you can go and click on there and generate a license because you need an extended license, not a normal one. You get a license code, load it onto the laptop, you load the license key, it restarts, you've got an extended license. Now we're rocking and rolling. Let's fire this bad boy up. Plug this baby in, make your connection. This is Wi-Fi, but let's plug it in for a second here. I'll show you how it works. We gotta plug her in. Plug your lights. Booyah. 
Car power up. All right, I've already connected this thing on Wi-Fi. Go up to our information. All right, our connector is running now. We click on connect a vehicle. Adapter found. Now it'll scan all your, your stuff, but uh, basically, and then it'll save a profile. If you load your profile here, again, there's videos on how to do this. Look at it loading all those cool modules. I'm sure there's all sorts of tomfoolery you can get up to here, modifying your car, but uh, I'm not really interested in that. We'll click on the chippy whippy, configuration programming, APIM as built. Push the play button. Yes. Loads all of our blocks. This is the programming menu. What you can do is you go save all. This is a backup, so make a backup file, say backup. It'll save your existing, in my case, Ford Edge uselessness. Um, once you've got a backup of it, you do load all. Find your file that you've saved from the as-built data from Ford. You load it. Then you go write all. It goes doo 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 It says complete. You recycle the car. Boom! You're back in business. You got steering wheel controls. You got nav. You got no warnings coming up. Super rad. I think that just about covers it. I've spent 10, 15 hours learning how the program works, finding modules, screwing around, ordering this crap, baking boards, recutting. <laughs> this is crazy. But we can save a lot of money doing this. You can do this at home. You can beat the system. We can beat Ford, who would not war honor the warranty on this after six years with their Mexican crap. Mexico is lovely. They can make good stuff, just not this thing. Anyways, hope you found this useful. You got some questions? Ask me. This is fresh in my mind right now. I might forget down the line, but uh, let's get her done. Let's fix her up. Rock and roll. See you in the next one.